Welcome back everybody, my name is Taylor Martin, this is The Best MEDC, and this probably looks a little bit different because I was not planning on shooting this video quite yet. I'm at home, and this is the nursery because it's the best looking room in the house, but I was not going to make this video, but these packages right here have been taunting me for a while. This one just arrived today, these have been here for about a week, and it's just been driving me crazy. I don't know what's inside them, I have no idea, other than I know that there are knives. So let me explain. You guys clearly like the budget series. I clearly like making the budget series and I want to toy with that idea and play with different budgets. Last year I made a video, best knives under $50 and I'm not proud of it. I don't like it. My knowledge has expanded and grown. My tastes have changed and I'm just not proud of that list anymore, but I didn't want to just make another one. I wanted to work with other people and create kind of a collective list almost, a short list, but something that isn't just my opinion, it's other people you respect, the community at large, and my opinion, all kind of pieced together into one video. So the way this works, I reached out to Zach, we talked about this a little bit, Zach over at Blade HQ, and I told him to pick a knife, the best knife under 50 bucks, and send it to me. And I did the same thing with Talon Sai. One of these packages is from Blade HQ. Two of them are actually from Talon. Based on their picks, I'm also gonna pick one. And then I have a poll, which will be linked down below, but that poll is the community vote on what is the best knife under 50 bucks. And it's been live for like a week, roughly. And the Tenacious has run away with it with more than double the votes of anything else on the list. I'm gonna leave that open until after this video is live for a few days. So we can really get a feel for what the knife is. I imagine the community is probably going to pick the Tenacious, which is perfectly fine. And then I'm also going to choose a knife, but I'm not picking my knife or at least saying what my pick is until I see what's in these because I don't want to choose the same thing. And then after I have all of these knives in hand, I will actually be carrying them for a while and then just reporting back. I'm not necessarily comparing them all and, and saying, you know, buy this one over this one. It's not about that. It's anything on this list is going to be a really, really great value knife for under $50. And I may pick a favorite at the end. I will. And maybe my pick will change. Maybe I won't like the one I chose because, you know, specs aren't everything. Sometimes you just got to get the knife in your hand to really form an opinion on it. So I will carry each of these knives for a week, give or take, and then I will sum it up with my thoughts on each of them and I will pick my own personal favorite. Let's get this started. I wanna see what these guys have sent me. And I'm gonna start with Talons because I've had these packages on my table for a week now. And if you guys aren't aware, I'm also doing another challenge right now where I'm carrying the Steel Wheel Cut Jack Mini that I customized last week. Uh, it's going really well. I really, really like this knife. So this is the first one from Talon. Let's see what's inside. So it's got a gift receipt inside that has a message that says, yo, instead of sending a mermaid, I figured I would be nice and send an actual user. Had one of these a long time back and had to dump it in the trash before going through security in NYC. It should stand up well to the competition under 50 T. Let's see a Kershaw box. All right, it's heavy. It's definitely heavy. What is this? Oh, it's a cryo too. The, the community is actually, I've never had a cryo, but the community over in the Discord is, uh, is gonna have some words about the cryo too, but it's, uh, it's a hefty knife. And, oh no, that's, that doesn't bode well. I like the shape and the size of it. I will have to flip the clip around because it's currently tip up carry, or tip, tip down, sorry. Is it assisted as well? Okay, that's better, but it feels assisted. Yeah, it is, it's, it's assisted. It's got some spring to it. All right, so that is Talon's pick. I will be carrying the Kershaw Cryo 2 for a little bit. I really don't know what to expect now. Okay, so he also has a note with this one. He says, yo, there's exactly enough money left after the Cryo 2 to test this one out too. It's not a real boker, but you need to be extra special to wield that beauty. Okay, I think this, I think I know where this is going. Because I sent him a link to this before. <laughs> oh man. Thank you, Premier Blue, is that what it says? <laughs> it is, let's open it up this way. I can't get the box open, there we go. Ooh, baby, it's not the real Boker, but, ooh, look how beautiful that is. Now that is a knife. I wonder if it's even sharp. Hey, it's got an edge on it. I knew this was gonna happen if I asked Talon. I knew it was gonna happen, but look at that. 
There's, that's Talon's picks, a Cryo 2 and a Mermaid. Next up, I think there are also two knives in the package from Blade HQ. And again, I really have no idea what to expect because Zach said he wanted it to be a secret. Well, let's see what's inside here. He said that the, the big knife is for the challenge. The small one is just to have. So I don't know what that means. We're about to find out. It's a, it's a box inside of a box. Joke's on you guys. Or me, I don't know. <laughs> he must have known I was going to open this on camera because it's an envelope inside of a box that was also inside of a box. Okay, here we go. I don't know which one's which yet. Ooh, uh-oh. We might have an issue. So I see the box. It says Civivi, which one of my picks was also a Civivi, but I don't know what's inside this. I might have to return my other knife. Oh, I'm going to have to. My pick... It was exactly this. There it is. It's the Civivi Elementum. This was going to be my pick. Boy. That. Now that is sick. Just the action on this is absolutely perfect. I wish the wood handled Elementum was under uh, $50. It's about $60, $65. But this. This is going to be great. This is a D2 knife. And the action is just so good. I'm excited to carry this one. I really, really am. Okay, let's see what the other thing was. I know there, oh my God. <laughs> There's also a note, I forgot to read this, I missed it. He said, Taylor, hope this helps out with the challenge. Stoked to see what you cook up. Always love your content. Looking forward to linking up soon, Zach. P.S. You're the first to get a banner. So we got some stickers in here as well as uh, some of the Gerber Lego men. I don't know if there might be a specific name for that. We also have the Blade HQ banner. That's pretty cool. And then, oh, <laughs> I had I had an idea. When he said small, I immediately thought Swiss Army knife. I, I almost expected a compact. This is too big to be the compact. This is definitely like mini champ or, or classic SD size. I can't. I can't get it out. Oh, it's the Blade HQ Mermaid Exclusive Swiss Army. That's really cool. That's going to go in my pocket after this challenge is over for sure. That's hilarious and awesome. So now we have two mermaids. Sick. Wait, is this one assisted as well? It's got a lot of resistance. It's assisted. Huh. Well, there you go. So to clarify something, I'm not counting tax or shipping. So... This one actually was going to bend the rules a little bit because most places it's just over 50 bucks, like $50.15, $50.20. But I found it in one place for $49.95, so I was going to include the Elementum, but Zach already did. So this right here kind of spoils my surprise a little bit because I was also going to choose the Elementum, and I went ahead and bought it because I didn't think that Zach would be sending this. I honestly thought he would maybe send a compact or a rat too or something. But my pick is now spoiled a little bit. I've been thinking about it just in case somebody else picked the Civivi. Um, so I have the Kutchak Mini, but I think my pick is gonna be the full-sized Kutchak or the Rat 2 in D2. I've had a rat in the past. I think I already like the Kutchak more than I like the rat. So uh, we'll see how it turns out, but I wanna get your opinion first. So if you have not filled out the survey or the poll, Click the link down below. Tell me which knife you think is the best knife under 50 bucks, period. And I will buy that one. I will also buy my pick and we'll go from there. But right now we are working with the Civivi Elementum, the Cryo 2, and maybe the Mermaid. But this is technically a Boker Mermaid knockoff. But that's what we got right now. Obviously the Mermaid's a joke, but I might carry it anyway. I mean, look how sick that is. <laughs> yeah, I got a mess to clean up and some knives to carry. Well, I got to finish this budget carry first, but after that one's up, we are starting this one. Stay tuned for that. If you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe, follow around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at Best in BDC. Be sure to check out Blade HQ and Talent Side if you haven't already. They're awesome guys with awesome content. I love Blade HQ. Talent is such a great guy. Thank you both for helping with this. 
And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to purchase anything you saw in this, there will be links down below for all of those things. If you click those links, some of those are affiliates, so I will get a little bit of a kickback if you purchase anything. You can also go to carry.best to purchase stuff directly from me, such as my t-shirts and other merch and actual gear, so branded gear and other gear from small makers in the community. And you can also go to patreon.com forward slash bestmedc. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at bestmedc. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.